Hey, what's going on? In this video, I am going to create a Redux store in React and TypeScript. And I'm going to do this with the help of Redux Toolkit. And in the next video, I am going to use uh, async thunks to fetch and insert data to a uh, backend database directly from the Redux store. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I have a plain React application and what I'm going to do is to create a Redux store in which I'm going to keep a list of persons for example and then I'm going to create two components one for adding new persons to the Redux store and the other for fetching the persons from the store and showing them to the user. So let's get started. Before going ahead uh, we have to install React Redux and also Redux Toolkit. So I say npm install React Redux and also at Redux JS slash toolkit. Since I have installed these packages before, I'm not going to press enter here. So here in the source folder, I want to create a component, a components folder. And inside that components, I want to create a add.tsx and also a list.tsx. So I go back to the add components and create a functional component here. And I'm going to go to the list component and create a functional component as well. And next thing I want to do is to create a store folder in the source folder. So I create store and inside that store, I'm going to create another folder, which is called features. And these features of folder contain our store slices. So essentially we can, we can have a main store, which can be divided into slices, just like a cake that can be divided into slices. So in the features, I want to create a file called person slice. And inside this person slice, I'm going to export a, an interface, export interface, which define the, our person object shape. So I say person. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to define just ID and a name for this person. So I say ID, which is a number and also name, which is typed string. Next thing I want to do is to define an interface for the state of this slice. So I say uh, interface person state. And here we, we are going to have a list of persons. So I say persons this type of list of person interface which we have defined here. So our state is going to have a list of persons. Next thing I want to do is to de define our initial state. So I say const initial state, which is a type of person state, person state. And here our initial state is just an empty list. So I uh, set persons to an empty list here. Next thing I want to do is to create our slice. So here I say export const person slice equal to create slice, which is a function that comes from the Redux toolkit. And inside that function, I want to pass an object. First, we have to define the name of the, the slice. So I set name to just person and then I'm going to add our initial state. So I say initial state and next we are going to define our reducers, which is an object that contains our actions. So actions are essentially a function that can mutate our state. So for example, say we have a add person action that can be used to add a new person to our, this person list here. So I say add person and say the function that takes in our state and also an action. So this action is type of payload action. 
which comes from the uh, Redux toolkit here. And with this payload action, we can define the type of parameter which we can pass through this action. So I say uh, name equal to string. So by this, I mean that uh, when we are dispatching add person action from our component to the uh, to the Redux store, uh, we can pass an object which contains a name of string as a parameter to this add person action. So later we can see how it works. So in this add person function, I say our state that persons that push an object uh, which is which its ID is a say state that persons that length and its name comes from this payload action. So I say action that payload that name. So by this we can insert a new person to our Redux store. And at the end we have to export default our person slice oops person slice the reducer and also our action so i say export const an object and it is equal to person slice person that actions and inside that object we're going to destructure the add person so we are going to go to the store folder and create our store so here in the store folder i'm going to create a file called store that ts and here we're going to export const uh, our store equals to configure store which comes from the redux toolkit and pass an object to it with reducer and say person equals to person slice dot reducer and finally we have to export our app dispatch which is used to dispatch our action to the store and also app selector which by that we can retrieve our data from the store so i say export const use app dispatch set it to function and say type of a store that dispatch equals to use dispatch and then say export const use app selector equals to typed use selector you select typed use selector hook and then inside the angle bracket i say return type and again angle brackets and inside them i say type of store that get state and then say equal to use selector yeah it's kind of getting complicated but uh, if you're using typescript you have to write these two lines of code to use use app dispatch and use app selector correctly so later in this video you can see that how we can use uh, use app dispatch and use app selector so here we are done with the with the, with our store and let's go to develop our two components add and list so i switch back to the add components here i'm going to create a form uh, for adding uh, persons to the redux store so i say form and here i'm going to create a label and set that label i'm going to say person name also i'm going to create a, uh, an input and also i'm going to create a button I'm going to say in this button just add and for the sake of time just copy and paste a couple of classes to style this component by the way i'm using tailwind css classes here if you want to know and here i'm going to create a user so i say const name equal to user and here in the input say on change and say name that current equals to e that target that uh, value and also here i'm gonna use our use app dispatch which i have already defined here in the store.ts so i say const 
dispatch equals to use app dispatch and in the onclick events of this button i'm going to call or dispatch this add person which i've created here so in this button i say onclick dispatch add person which comes from our person slice here and this add person takes an argument which is a name of the person so i say name dot current and let's import this add that person from our person slice so here we got an error it's because we, we have to send this name as an object and say name equals to name dot current so that's it for the add component and let's quickly develop our list component and then run our server so here i'm going to create a, a paragraph just to say that this is li our list component so this i said this is list component and then i'm going to create a table inside that table i want to create our table head so i say t head then create a table row and then define our table heads. So I say th id and also another for name. So in order to get or fetch our list of person from our store, we have to use use app selector, which uh, we have already defined in this file store.ts use app selector so i say const persons equals to use app selector and this use app selector takes a callback which takes our state in turn and then it returns what we want it to return from our state so i say state return state dot persons dot persons so state it is is uh, our whole state and person is our person slice and from the person slice we are going to retrieve persons list which we have defined in our person slice now we have access to the person list from our store so here we can add our t body or table body and inside our t body i'm going to loop through the person list so i say persons that map person and say tr and then in the so key equals to person id and here in the tr i'm going to create two td one for the person that id person that id and another for person that name so here for just for the sake of time let's copy paste a couple of table and css classes to style our component okay we're done with the list component and let's uh, go to the app.tsx and add these two components and then run our server so i say add and then add our list okay now let me start our server and test our application so i say npm run dev so we have two components here this is the add component and this is the list component so here let me quickly add a dummy person here so i say john for example and you can see the john added to the redux store and this list component shows it to the user so let me add another person for example mike and you can see that mike also shows up in the list component so let me review what we have done in this app so back to the visual studio code and here we have two components one is the add component and the other is the list component so in the add component we have used uh, use app dispatch 
to send the add person action with a name parameter to the Redux store in order to insert a new person to the Redux store. And in the list component, we have used use app selector, which we have defined in, in our store here, use app selector. And we use this use app selector to select the person list from the person slice, which we have defined here, this person list here. So when we select the persons list from the person slice with use app selector, we have loop through the persons and show them to the user. So in a, so in a concise word, uh, we use use app selector to select or retrieve our data from the store and we use use app dispatch to send an action to the store for example, inserting or adding a new person to our store. So I think that's it for today. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how we can sync our Redux store with a backend database and use uh, async funks to do a synchronous operation in our store. So be sure to see that video as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, Please hit the like button. Bye-bye.